hello hello everybody welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber um this is a little off book um for us today it's been a really long time since i've done hauls um i think the last one i did was like a very massive like scrapbook.com type of situation um and i really have i'm not gonna say i haven't been like bulk purchasing because i definitely bought a ton of ali edwards towards the the back half of uh 2021 like fall winter kind of thing um and I've recently gotten into that but um these I really did want to show off because um they're just really cool companies that I feel like don't get uh a ton of attention and I I'm just obsessed with what I got um and they're my well, one of them is. So I flipped them over because my address and stuff is on the front side. Um, I guess I can, here, I'll cover it just so you can see. Look at how freaking cute. Even better, like look at the side of this package. I hope it's like, there we go. Now I'm in frame. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. So I just think this is super cute. Um, packaging in of itself. Um, so this is paper person, obviously. And then this box is from Ellie Studios. Um, this is actually my first Ellie Studios purchase, period. Like, I've never bought anything from them. Um, I've, like, added to cart and then never bought plenty of times. Um, I do know a lot of people that use their product, um, but there is something, there were a couple things that I really, really was, um, particular about getting. One of them was already sold out, but, um. Yeah, we're going to get into just both of these, and I just want to show off kind of like what I got. Um, since it has been a while since I've done a haul video, I would really like to know where everyone stands on that. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it because sometimes the items are not able to be purchased anymore, like in both of these cases. Um, some items are sold out, and I really hate that as a consumer. I hate it because I watch it, I want it, I can't get it. Um, and in some cases, it gives me inspiration to make it myself or make something similar. Um, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, an, in haul news, though, I am planning to do an Etsy haul video. I ordered from two separate planner shops, planner sticker shops. I feel like my stomach is going to growl. It's like fairly early in the morning on a Sunday before this video is actually going to go up. Um, <laughs> my filming schedule is really bizarre right now. Like normally I'm farther in advance than this, but, um, it is what it is right now, but it's absolutely gorgeous outside. Um, it's not very warm outside, but it's beautiful and sunny. So I'm going to take it. And I think it's less windy than yesterday. Okay. Weather tangent over, but let me know what your thoughts are on hauls in general. Um, I'm going to post this one and then um, I'm hoping end of April for the other one. I'm just really not sure about its arrival. Part is coming from the UK and part is coming from Canada. So I'm fingers crossed that they both arrive in a semi decent time frame. Um, huh. I think the one from the UK is definitely guaranteed before I want to post it. And I think it's incredibly possible that the other one will get here in time and I hope so because I want to use it for May planning like I specifically bought some products for May not the point okay let's get into it sorry morning rant first things first I'm gonna have to open this a little bizarrely so I'm gonna open it off oh I almost ripped the box and I do I'm weird I like to keep the boxes and packaging and things I was so upset I had some of this goodness that Oh my God, my nose just feels so weird. Okay, that's really bizarre. Um, oh, disclaimer. So I don't really, I feel like I don't say this that much anymore. I used to say it in my Hobo Nietzsche videos all the time, but disclaimer, like I am an adult. I am gonna use adult language. That's my prerogative. I do mark my videos not for children for this reason. So if you are sensitive to adult language, I am sorry. I try not to talk like a sailor as much as humanly possible. Um, I know my Hobo Niji used to be, that's normally where it really gets adult. Um, but there are some adult phrases that are going to be seen. So just disclaimer there. Um, so 
what I was saying about this though. So I had some of it from the first event that I went to at my clubhouse for my apartment and it was like in a free wine glass and I totally forgot when I documented that page that that's literally why it was still sitting out on the counter and I hadn't washed it yet because it was like my reminder to do those pages and to put the confetti in there. So that was really annoying. Um, so now I'm like, do I use it separately? Whatever. <laughs> so I have purchased from Paper Person before. I'm okay. There are two in here. I was freaking out for a second. Um, typically it's digital. These are the, this is my only physical thing that I've ever gotten from them. Um, and it was shipped to me with the February stuff and then she restocked them and I'm obsessed with them. They're these like puffy heart stickers um, and obviously super muted, very much my color palette colors and you can staple into them. Some have little phrases, I'm obsessed. So I got two more packs because I have been hoarding the other one and I know if I have, three is my magical number of everything. Like if I, if I'm like, okay, that's cute. You know, I'll get one. But if I like it, I'm getting three because I know, I know me well enough to know it's just not going to work out with just one or two. I don't know why. I just do. This is the coolest stamp set I've ever seen. I know a lot of people and a lot of companies over the years that have done um, expletives as stamps, but there was something about this one and the fact that I'm kind of new to paper person that I loved. So you've got like... I'm hoping this shows up on camera. Yeah. Okay. It's showing up. Okay. But <laughs> it's just precious. I'm freaking obsessed. Um, I love it. Uh, so we've got literally all the phrases you can kind of think of. And I thought that that was just uh, perfectly timed. Um, this whole kit, this is probably the most I've ever purchased from Paper Person at one time. Um, I, like I said, I do have a lot of the printables, but those are not, um, I'm definitely trying to be very careful with this so that it can go onto a card. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, I do Project Life and scrapbooking layouts, like 12 by 12 spreads and stuff like that. But then I also do planning, um, but I used to smash book. So I am from a crowd of scrapbookers that save just about everything because it can be used as an embellishment. Um, I am so excited about this. I'm really excited about this because I'm gonna reuse that too. Okay, so typically I would, and I actually do have the digital for this too. Um, so mixed feelings because typically with something like that, like, I don't know. I really don't know how I'm going to use this yet. I may, I don't know. I wish obviously like that I had them all and I'm going to have to figure out what to do with it fairly soon because yeah, I don't know, but I love, I love it. Um, part of me wishes it was blown up to a 12 by 12, if I'm being honest. But these are double-sided papers that come in the kit. This is the kit for April. I really love this paper, so that's going to have to be used up soon or I'm going to hoard it. It looks like there's like a dot pattern on the back of every single one of these. But like I was saying, this is the April kit. I believe it's already sold out. You can buy the digital papers um, and the digital cards separately. And I think you can get like everything digitally, like the embellishment set possibly. I'm not sure. I am going to link the, both the shops down below um, where you can look and see what they still have in stock. Um, what I did, I waffled for a while if I was going to do the whole kit. I don't know why I'm, okay, why am I overcomplicating this? Um, but it was because I really wanted these embellishments and I liked them. I really did, there wasn't anything that I didn't like about the kit. I'm just very weird about kit purchases lately that aren't digital. That being said, I do have a bunch in the Studio Calico cart. But that's neither here nor there. Um, what I really liked about the kit, 
and I struggled because I wanted a digital of this so bad just for the embellishment. So now I'm kind of tempted to go back and see if she's done. Cause sometimes um, she, for an example, she had a mini kit that wasn't digitized and it sold out like within hours. So because of that, she went ahead and made it digital and I am going to buy it digitally. Um, I'm a little like bummed because it's about, it's pandemic related and it, it would, it's got like the Omicron stuff and I had that in January. So I'm trying to figure out how to maybe incorporate that like via maybe like a flip card, like go back and do an edition because I really like one of the cards because it's like, how do you say Omicron? And it's like listed option. It's so stinking cute. It's so cute. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to link the shop so you can go see all the like super cute stuff. I just feel like paper person has a knack for covering current affairs um and really having like good product for that and I'm a I'm a big advocate for kind of I'm not gonna say it's a hundred percent politically neutral that's just my stance on it there's some product that I feel like I can use and some that I can't um but I Overall, I like the small business side of her. I like um, the product that is offered and the options that I'm given. So um, I actually printed like all of her political kits and I'm looking forward to documenting that at some point when I get there. Um, but I just feel like she does like a really good job of um, giving you more current affairs stuff. So, and I've been more into that side of scrapbooking and documenting lately than I have been like, what's the newest American crafts collection. Even though I'm very anxiously awaiting new collections at my Joann's. So we have today was tough. Nope, are you kidding me? And all of these could be used for lots of things. I love the dumpster fire because that's accurate some days. Here's the story. Hugs needed. Oh, I know what I can use. And this is the thing, like I can use these for anything. It doesn't have to be news related. I think that was kind of part of it. Um, this is my real life. No, 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 no. No more drama. I actually have a cute llama st sticker that'll go with that. Um, ugh, bad news. My stomach's growling, overwhelmed, struggling over here. And I think the kit came along at a good time, not just news related. Sometimes life is hard sometimes, real life, feeling angry, feeling unhappy, out like a lamb, in like a lion, feeling sad. Um, so for those of you who are new, I... Um, I have been studying to get my investment advisor's license and I'm really, really, really tired because I'm doing that, maintaining the fact that my boyfriend and I live like over an hour apart and still working normal like work week. Um, so I'm super overwhelmed. I went and took my test and I didn't do well. Um, I knew I wasn't going to do well. I was, I'm fine. I'm fine, but it still sucked. It's a, it's a long t test too. It's like three and a half hours. So, um, yeah, it was not, it was like a whole day blowout and knowing that it was going to be a blowout and I hate wasted time. Um, these are cute little, like they're not real buttons. They're flare, I think is what they're called, but <laughs> really terrible, very bad news, horrible, no good snapshots from real life. Um, I may end up using this in my like day in the life or whenever I took like screenshots of um, Ukraine. I don't know. I'm hesitant to go ahead and use them because I feel like something worse is going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like that's applicable to what's kind of going on right now. Um, so I'm really, like I said, I'm tired. Um, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and get back to a consistent filming schedule while juggling several other things. Because I need to craft and do these things so that I can stay sane. So um, I've kind of said it a couple times at this point to like bear with me with descriptions because that's like my weaker spot in 
in the content creation world is just getting um, that done. So you can see how long does this go on? Okay, wow, that's a really big sticker sheet that comes with it. That's awesome. Oh, that's really cool. And that's definitely my color palette. Um, yeah, not whinging, just explaining, I guess, that the cards were very applicable. Please be patient with me. Blah. Okay, so no good, very bad day. And it looks like all of these just have like a grid on the back, which is nice. Um, like I said, I do have these in digital, so I'm not super stressed about using the physical, um, which is always really nice. I do, I feel like I've gone down a digital rabbit hole and I don't plan on coming out anytime soon. Oh, these all have like, um, like notebook ruled style on the back. So we have sorry over and over again, the blah I'm feeling, rain, rain, go again, go away. Oh, I can't talk. Sigh, bloom, a new season's here. My April calendar. This is like one of my favorite things and I've been buying the kits this year in printable just so I can have these and I do put it in um, monthly. Everything will be okay. That might be a good one to use for the exam week. Oh, this is just double-sided, really pretty. I like that. Polka dots. <laughs> I like the easy there tiger. Uh, Cause I have like, I'm sure I have a tiger sticker that I can use. Cheer up the things that make me happy. Like this is something really cool that I would actually use for like this week because as soon as I, okay. So just to, like give you guys like a really weird timeline. So I took my exam and then my birthday was like legit a week later um and then I'm like just trying to understand where I'm at in the world <laughs> um huh that's such a large statement but um took my exam failed it was exhausted and then because like the 10 to 14 days pr I would say like the 10 days before the exam. I had a lot of personal craziness going on. Um, I was having to like start to decide what at work could wait until after the exam and what needed to get done to balance studying and work. And then, so it's now time to catch up on everything that I pushed plus trying to figure out how to fit a study schedule in and renew my other license that I've already tested for already have but has to be renewed by the end of your birthday month so as soon as I get done filming this while my phone charges I'll study for that for a little bit and then film another video to give my brain a break go on a run like ha <laughs> so I'm trying really hard to like basically not look like a side show circus situation but that's really where we're at and there's no end in sight and it is it kind of feels like being caught in a tide pool but like almost out. Is it a tide pool? What's it called? Is it a tide pool? I've been stuck. A riptide. I've been stuck in one before. That's just terrifying. Um, and I used to swim competitively and the ocean and I have, have had some experiences over the last couple years. But the point of the card being that there are at least eight things that I have strategically fit into my schedule as of late where it's like, no, you are going to go do this because it is going to make you feel better. And yes, it will take time away from something else, but you need to fill your cup up a little bit before you can pour back out of it. And I feel like I have made my word of the year is commitment. And I think part of that journey is me. If you're doing one little word, let me know, by the way, sorry if you're new to the channel and you don't know that I go on tangents, but it happens. Um, and we're only on the first box y'all. Um, and it's early and I'm caffeinated and I'm a morning person. So you get what you get. Um, but the point being that I am committed to the things that I'm committed to and I need to be committed to, but I'm also committed to myself and saying no and saying I didn't have time for it and why I didn't have time for it. And that I am more important than whatever that thing is and my self-preservation and my sanity is more valuable than X, Y, Z. Because I worked a job that 
put me and my mental health at risk far greater than I had ever planned. Um, and I will talk about that journey as we go through the scrapbooking documenting side of it, which I'm not sure when that's going to be because I do have three albums running right now. Um, but when we are in those spreads and talking about it, and I, I have, I have planned that whenever that album is done and, um, I have officially left that company from a documenting standpoint that I will talk about it more openly, um, because I have carried it for years and it is a form of therapy to scrapbook. It is a form of therapy to talk about it and letting it go. Um, I've, I cannot, it's the weirdest thing that I have PTSD from, and that is nothing to take lightly. I am not making a joke of PTSD. I know that that is incredibly serious. Please do not like come for me with that. I just have stress disorder type situations from a job perspective. Um, I was kind of joking about it with my coworker the other day that I have it from jobs, but not from past relationships. Like I don't have relationship trauma. I don't tend to drag from one to the other. Um, I let that relationship stand on its own and know that that person is not the next person. I do not hold them to that expectation. I do not, um, I reevaluate internally, like how I let something get that far or be treated. Like, anyways, I self-analyze more than I blame another person. Um, but when it comes to my job situations, it's a different situation entirely. Not the point. The point is use the cheer me up card and we're moving on. Feeling tired of and, and sometimes. I really like that. Tough stuff. This too shall pass. I definitely think a lot of these are going to end up in my... March documenting candy favorites Easter edition. I'm really excited about that because I do have some new candies. I kind of like this wood grain. I have a love hate with it. I don't know. Super stressed. Yes, definite using. Okay. Last but not least, I, I don't know. I felt mixed about the stamp set. There were, I wanted the ephemera in this more than the stamp set. Um, but I love the tension level. And well, that sh this sure escalated quickly. These are tough days, bad day. It just felt like I could use this stamp set for multiple occasions. Not that I want terrible stamps. I just feel like there aren't enough like real life stamps out there too sometimes. Like that we, I'm, and this is something I'm very curious about as documenters. And I've heard a lot about this where people chose like actively chose not to document. Um, I'm going to open this off to the side as well for the same reason before. It's got my address on the top. Um, I, I heard that a lot of people chose not to document uh, COVID, having it, experiencing it, all of those things, or... Um, like politics because they felt like it was so depressing and like won't document Ukraine, all these things. And I'm, I am a person that even I documented in my Hobo Nietzsche when COVID started, I documented, I would actually be really curious. Oh, I don't think I, huh. I wonder if I have journal entries. I'll have to go back now and look. I wonder if I have the journal entries from when I had COVID the first time before we knew what COVID was. Because I got it the like the November before. And then it got released in March. Um, <laughs> And then... Or known about in March. Release makes it sound really weird. Sorry about that. Um, I wonder if I have those entries cause I'm pretty sure I do. Anywho, but I chose to document that way. Um, and then when I started 2021 documenting, I literally got COVID. I got, I got the Omicron variant as my new year's Eve present. Um, I like literally spiked my fever, like right after midnight, I started feeling bad and I could, I knew something was up and my boyfriend already had it. So I knew what it was. Um, but not the point. Uh, the point being that I did choose to document it. I didn't get like really in the weeds about it. I am taking screen grabs of Ukraine. I am talking about it. My thoughts on it. Um, I'm documenting it, but 
not from a very in-depth, I'm not doing a deep dive news article, dissertation about it. I, but I am recognizing the climate of the environment I'm in. I am recognizing that these are events that are happening. I am recognizing that this is part of my life. Um, so I'm curious how you documented it, if you documented it, and why. Like, what, to what degree, why, like, give me all the details. Very curious about that. Okay, so now we're gonna get into this. This is, this is nice. I'm so excited. Oh my god. So, <laughs> my birthday weekend, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm buying it. Mainly because I had three of these in my cart and it had docked it down to two and I was terrified because I love them. They are labels for all 52 weeks of the year and they were on sale and I love them. I freaking love them. I don't ever think I'll use one set consecutively. So I, and there is a girl that I follow that does that. And I think her spreads are beautiful and they are clean and they are simple and I love them. But I don't know that I could stick to it for an entire year like that. I think I want to save one pack to do it like that and then have one pack that just get sporadically used. And I do, um, there's some other things that are similar to that that I plan to use so that it's always kind of a fun mix. Um, yeah, I'm trying to decide what future years are gonna look like too. So I went embellishment crazy. I went crazy altogether. I think total, oh, I didn't even know I ordered, what the hell? I didn't even know that was in my cart, y'all. For real, I literally did not know that was in my cart. But that's okay. We have label stickers now. We'll get to that. Oh, I'm just throwing mess everywhere. When I threw them down, it moved some ephemera that I had on the side that I hadn't put away from yesterday. Um, also, I, y'all have no idea how much strength it took not to use this yesterday because I had, I'm gonna have to figure out how to cut that down. How am I gonna do that? Oh dear. I'm like measuring off to the side. I think I can make that work. Um, I do take my thank you cards that I get and use them for, um, did I do this? Mm, highly debatable. It might have to get attached to a four by six card. Anywho, not the point. I do put these in my documenting, especially if it's a first time order. Um, from somewhere, I like them in the in my documenting because that's just really cool for me to know when I started ordering from a particular shop, interested in a particular shop, what my shopping style was looking like too. So I do include those. All right, so we're gonna do embellishments first, then cards second. So these are two different sets. One is an autumn set, and then I don't know what the other one's called. Again, I'm just gonna link the shop. I'm not gonna get um, too specific about what it was because I feel like it's all very self-explanatory and there's a ton to go through on the site. Um, and that's more to save me some time. But like I said, some of the things are sold out, so it's kind of pointless. Like these guys are sold out now. I bought the last two. Super sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I 100% will be ordering these again. I think they're precious. Um, I do think that they are very similar. Like, they might, like, I don't know. Some of them are the same shade. I have noticed that I'm not using a lot of my neutrals as well. Sorry, I was probably holding that at a really bad angle. But I love those. I love the the design in them. And normally, I like everything really plain. But I think the design will be great. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. These are acetate stickers. So this is what I do like. I do like that you don't have to play the game of what adhesive to use behind it. They're already sticky backed. Um, but I am curious to see how I'm going to use them. And that, that was, this was more of a like, we're going to buy it and we're going to try it. We're going to see how we feel about it. And we're going to push ourselves. I got so many tiny shapes, so many, like all the tiny shapes. I hope the cat doesn't hop up here. 
Um, yes, okay, so I did want to do the whole Rory G. Biv thing. I'm watching the cat intensely. Um, I did want to do the Rory G. Biv thing, so I did. Um, I love the hearts. I wish there was just like a heart package of them, if I'm being honest. I did get the gold. And that's a little out of my comfort zone. Normally, if I do gold, I like the glitter. I like the grittiness of it. So I tend to go with that. I did get the Christmas because I feel like that'll get used and definitely um, be helpful. Like I said, I got the neutral. I'm not doing so well with using any of the neutral packs I have. So that may hold me for a while. The asterisks that I have are glossy. So having a matte set sounded like a really great idea. This, I still don't, that's so weird. So just explain the label drama. So label drama. Y'all, I have labor sticker books coming out my ears. Ears. And I can never find the right color and I get really aggravated and then I get online and then I'm trying to find the right color that I'm more aggravated. So... I guess I had these in my cart and just didn't take all of them out. I do love this color. This will get used. I'm not upset about it. I just can't believe I didn't take it out of the cart in the panic. So I got the label stamp set and the die cut so that I can make my own. Um, I have a very nice stamp collection or a very nice ink collection courtesy of my mother. Um, when she purged a lot of hers and then when I'm temporarily acquired lots of them that have now become permanently acquired um <laughs> I shot my mom's stash like y'all wouldn't believe um my mom has pr during the pandemic especially because when everything shut down you couldn't go or you couldn't like physically touch everything and so I would go to her house and I would just like roam and if it was product I knew my mom has like ADHD and OCD but hers is more of like obsessive compulsive purchasing. And I definitely think that trait trickled to me. Um, but the point being that because I have just about every ink color you could dream up and I have really nice brands, like I do have a lot of the Tim Holtz and Archival and I have a lot of Chalkings. I basically have every color that I could ever need that I can think of, or I have a marker to make it happen, um, or I have a paper. I just, I loved that I could probably DIY this much better than constantly fussing with finding a color. So I bought both and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I like that it's all the shapes that I really could need, all the sizes that I really could need. And I do like this like thicker border type situation because then I can put embellishments. Basically, this was more of a necessity purchase and to solve a massive problem. So I think that that proved very well. So these are some card sets that I bought. I think you get 10 to every set. Um, my boyfriend was kind enough to get me a scrapbook.com card and my mom it got me a gift card so that I can go get an Ikea Calais that's going to become my new TV stand. So I am hoping to do some organization photo or photos, videos um, at some point this year. I'm just not sure when. Um, basically anything deep divey like that or me basically having more videos. And I was thinking about this last night because I do want to uh, change um uh, there's some things in the works with the channel that I'm really, really excited to think about and some series that I want to do and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys have video requests, uh, stuff like that, or questions that you want a video on. Um, but more or less that that can't happen until the testing is over and I do take a decent break and I also have a custom that I have to finish. So all that being said, um, I'm hoping like summer is really gonna like open up when I can spend a lot more time posting on the channel and we might even go to three times a week. I'm not, I'm not trying to run before I walk. So um, that being, I don't know how that factored into everything. Oh, um, because I am gonna do some Project Life card organization. That's where that was going. So I got the movie time 
ones because I like movies. Um, and it would be nice to have that. I do have like a printable card that works, but it's like a four by six. And I don't know that that's always going to work, but I like the neutralness of this. The weather report, I do have a really nice um, printable that I usually use, but I like this one too. Currently, this is not Kristen's normal list. I think it's missing like planning. And I don't think hers has eating. So I think that's the only difference. I liked the currently watching for every day of the week because sometimes I series binge and sometimes I don't. Um, so I just finished Witcher. I need to finish, I'm backed up on This Is Us episodes. So I definitely, hold on, sorry, random. Um. This Is Us episodes, I need to finish. I, th I started watching one of the Fast and Furious movies last night. I really thought I had seen them all, but apparently not. But wait, there's more. Um, these are their Plant Lady cards. I don't know if they're sold out, but they're super cute. It's like a, it's the only set in here that's not the same. So I will go through that. I am a Plant Lady. I do have succulents, so this... Um, looks really cute. I might buy a secondary set or see if there's like a printable version. Um, cause these will be cute whenever I start gardening today. Last night I had to like rush and bring them in. I was like already in bed and then I realized it was going into the thirties and I was like, all right, everybody inside, but they're loving being outside. I need to water them while they're inside and they can take a break. Um, fact number one, two, and three, these are for Thursday three. Um, if you're not familiar with that, like I said, I'll post down below, but that's, um, are you Kristen, which is Kristen Tweedell's currently and fact, uh, Thursday three, which is you take a selfie and oh, it doesn't have to be a selfie. I think that we figured that out now too, but, um, it's ideally a selfie and then three facts about what, just what you're world looks like right now. Um, I'm still kind of new to the project. So there's some weeks I'm, I'm on point with it. And there's been a couple that I've skipped the let's eat. I definitely foresee me buying more of these. Um, because I like that they had everything, um, kind of on here and I could rate it. Um, date night details. So yeah, I just thought that this would be cute to have because I feel like I don't really have a card that does that. Um, so that is it as far as the hauls go. Like I said, I am planning to make some changes to start doing some more planner videos. I do have one more haul video that's going to happen um, for sure. I don't know if I'll do a scrapbook.com haul when I order from there um, because I have a feeling it's just going to be organization stuff and restock and things of that nature. I don't think it's going to be, um, like papers and things. I might get some Christmas stuff and I might refill some things that I'm really loving from my October kits that I feel like I need duplicates of, but not the point. Um, so I don't know if I'll do scrapbook.com, but I definitely will do, uh, the Etsy haul that I'm getting. Let me know what your thoughts are. And other than that, happy planning and crafting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and look forward to doing the flip through with you guys soon. I think that's posting this coming Sunday. Yeah. So we'll have a flip through of what March looked like and we'll have a chat about that. Hopefully my stuff will have shipped. So I'll have like an ETA on when that haul video is going to happen too. So keep your fingers crossed for me. But other than that, happy crafting and happy planning, happy everything. See you guys Sunday.